Hey, what's happening guys? Today we're going to take a look at the Jewel Electric Kettle by, uh, you can't see the bottom of that, can you? Stoke Voltaics. So this is the Jewel Personal Cooking System. Model Charlie Hotel Echo Foxtrot 001. They're in dimensions, capacity 30 ounce, power 500 watt, voltage 100, 120. Made by the Shenzhen Let There Be Light Technology Company. Made in China, but of course. So they contacted me a couple weeks ago. Asked if I'd be interested in taking a look at it. And it is just... Like, I don't want to call it weird. It's not weird. It's just so far outside of the things I normally deal with that I thought, well, heck, why not? So here it is. It's basically like a like a big mug size thing, and it's got this really nice uh, insulation on it here. is where we plugs it in <laughs> and there's Jules uh, formula so I'm guessing what the uh, the selling point in this thing is and it's gonna need a selling point because they're not cheap these things run a hundred dollars American you have three settings here a drink eat and pop in this little slider goes between them but kind of hard to tell where you're at there's not there's not really a good detent there yeah i guess that's the middle that's pop okay so the way this works is you have the three settings here drink will heat up whatever's in the kettle to boiling and then shut off. Eat will heat it up to boiling, but keep going. So if you were making a soup or a stew or something. And then popcorn. Well, pop is made for popcorn. Now you notice on the lid here, it has a, uh, a pour function and a strainer function. Little decal and this is a 304 stainless steel inside max safe fill is 16 ounces didn't it just say on the box that it was 30 ounces yeah capacity 30 ounces what kind of kung fu fighting math is that oh my what I wanted to show you it's on the inside of the lid here. You are supposed to put popcorn and oil, and those would be the perfect amounts to put in there to pop your popcorn. I was looking to see if there's something that this lid is supposed to connect to, but no, there does not seem to be. Let's give it a try, huh? It says uh, at 500 watts, it should boil water in five minutes. So we will all sit here quietly and assess the choices we've made in our lives while we wait for this to boil. I'm just kidding, of course. I'll do a little speed it up kind of thing. So we'll take the lid off. Here I have some sweet, fresh water directly from the Ohio River. And we'll fill it up. Max fill there, 16 ounces. Get that out the way there. We will put the lid on. 
I'll plug it in here. It is drawing. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. 30 milliamps. Hundred milliwatts. No, that's way that's the low. Yeah, it's drawing two hundred milliwatts. Quite awesome. All right, so let me get phone here, which I can stick maybe here like that. We're on drink. And I'm going to do this in fast mode. So let's get everything in the frame here. All right, I know you guys couldn't tell because there was no sound in the uh, sped up version. But I could hear the water really start to bubble at about three minutes. That's when I, right, right around the time I decided to go get the uh, the meter and put the thermocouple in there. According to this, it took seven minutes, 23 seconds to shut off, but it was boiling rapidly at five and a half minutes. So, a little off on their timing there, but still, very nice. And it doesn't look like we lost really any water to uh, evaporation there either. So, let me put the lid back on here. The lid is, you know, quite hot, obviously. But here's the thing. Can I pick this up without burning myself? Yes. I would say you can pick that up to pour it into something else. I don't think you would want to. I don't think you would want to drink out of this. It's, it'd be a little bit awkward. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, on the uh, web page, which I'll link to, or the shopping page, rather, they uh, specifically mention that this thing will run on um you know those solar power banks i've done reviews on a bunch of them like the all power and the jackery and the e-river whatever they're called being only 500 watts most of them are six seven eight hundred watts so this is um made to work with that and i kind of think the target audience for this are, are the outdoors type people who want to go, you know, camping, hunting, hiking in the woods and whatnot. You know, if you have one of those little power banks you take with you, now you have a, a way to cook food, boil water. You know, very compact. Is this strap adjustable? No, not really. So, like, the only two gripes I would have about this are the uh, no detent in the switch. You can't... See, that sounds like it clicks there. But if we go down and look, you know, straight on, that is not in the middle position. And then there's really no click going over there. Now that kind of clicked. That clicked hard. So you see what I mean? It's just... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so fix that. Make this strap adjustable. I'm a big guy. I got big hands, and that's... That's kind of loose on me. You can see... There's a, there's a lot of space back there. 
other than that, I like it. I think it's pretty cool. So I want to thank Jewel for sending that out. I want to thank you guys for watching. And I want to thank the patrons for, you know, supporting this channel and keeping it going. If you'd like to be a patron, check this link down here. A uh, buck a month for the bottom tier, but that gets you into everything. So have a look and uh, help support the channel if you like. Otherwise, I thank you for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.